Hello, Acorn fans! This is Shadow Period 233 bringing you a 1v1 match on Act Natural between King John VI and Elliot N. So King John VI is in the top right corner and Elliot N is in the bottom left corner. And at this point, King John VI has gone for further forward and we have Elliot N has gone CISO while King John VI has not chosen his race where we are now. Looks like King John VI is continuing to be a bit further in the future. He has also gone CISO, so both players have gone CISO. With King John VI a bit further into the future when he did it, but so CISO versus CISO match. Elliot N going for a rather economic start with, or actually, is he? No, looks like he's gone back and changed his start. He no, it's usually economic. So he has five resource processors on Liquid Crystal and one on Cube Plasma, while sending a special up up north. From the looks of it, and looks like he's sending it up north to try to scout out. Sorry to tell exactly what he's trying to scout out. Actually, it looks like he is trying to scout out. Is hmm yeah so he's trying to scout out the protected third of King John VI. Well, King John VI is building up quick importers. He's building up one. Oh my goodness! So King John VI is going for a total rush strategy. Two importers, one factory, and he hasn't even sent those units yet. He's just one. Wow. Okay, so he looks like he's trying to do a lancer rush, presumably. Wow, this is really fast rush strategy. And Pickley's not sorry. Elliot Ann's completely unprepared for it and has no way of knowing this is coming yet unless he gets his units in as quickly as possible. King John VI is pushing very far into the future and this will not go well for Pick Elliot N if he doesn't realize what is going on as soon as possible. So the factories come in and Lancers coming in to attack Elliot N and they're building up. Elliot N looks like he's actually in the future as well. He's aware of this so Elliot N is aware this attack is coming Looks like he's actually going to be changing his strategy up a bit further in the past. He's built an importer earlier on, and he's probably going to be building up either a factory or some more marines to try to deal with this. While King John VI has gone even further back into the past, and it's hard to tell, is he... Oh, wow! Okay, this is awesome! So King John VI is totally faking out this attack. He's gone actually vet gear for an economic build while faking out to cover a CISO rush, a CISO lancer rush, to completely throw off Elliot N. Wow! <laughs> and then he's going to send out his Teth Beer, so Elliot's going to be aware of this coming up pretty soon. But this is still pretty hilarious. I mean, come on, that that is funny. That That's pretty awesome. So, at this point, this red time wave has the, or will soon have, the fact that that <laughs> King John VI went, went Vekir, but still, that is hilarious. So, Elliot at this point is thinking, King John VI is going completely for CISO. Going for a total rush strategy, although he's going to probably get suspicious since the rush isn't coming. But then maybe he's thinking, oh, maybe it's an Echo Rush. And so at this point, King John's like going very quickly for Depot, Annex, going very economical. Six, six RNLC, one on QP. Elliot N has not built any more RPs yet. He has his importer up. He's getting more... Is it getting Marines? No, he's getting machinery. So it looks like he's planning on getting another importer and getting a factory himself. But he's going a bit slower about this than King John's Six was. And that is just hilarious. That, I don't know, that... That's pretty funny. So at this point, King John VI, once again, continuing to build up Vekir base. Elliot Dan's continuing to build up his importers. He has a factory coming up. His factory is going to be setting up very quickly for his own attack. Probably going to be counter-rushing a Lancer rush, but it doesn't look like anything really big is going to happen. While at the same time, looks like, well, Zion Pearls are coming out of King John VI. So King John VI is just going for a fairly standard Vekir opener, while Elliot Dan's, like I said, building up a bit more aggressively, getting a couple more RP QPs and or qprps and setting up whoa is that another importer he's setting up i believe it is yes yeah, five by five and yes it's an importer so he has three importers coming up he has two lancers wow okay so at this point king john six just hanging out with his teth figure figuring out what's going to go on he doesn't know what elliot ends up to i guess he's trying not to show off that he's vecchier too soon but really he should be getting some teth units very quickly because those lancers they're still pretty powerful i mean they've been nerfed a lot in this version but they're still really powerful so it's not, it's not going to be completely destroy, destroying him, but it's still something to be watching out for. Looks like though it's only a minute in the past that Pickley, Elliot N is looking at. So it looks like there isn't going to be too much of an issue. King John Six does have another Teth Pulsar coming in, and looks like Elliot N back at the time he's focusing on, he's continuing his strategy. So the strategy has not changed. And back where we were focusing, it looks like his Lancer has not attacked yet. So Elliot N just has his Lancer hanging out back here. 
unless he did something in the present. Nope, the Lancer's hanging out back here. So Elliot not doing anything with the Lancer. He does have a Lancer coming in though, so he does know King John Six did fake him out completely with the with the species selection, but still, that was pretty priceless. So King John Six actually back in his own time has built an aerial control center. He does have some units headed on around the map, so he's figuring out what's going on. King John Six sent is going to be attacked by Lancer, though, coming in from the north. Looks like Elliot N's trying to scout out this third here. Double check, nothing's going on. But King John 6 is expanding to his natural rather than his third, while also continuing to build units. And the Lancer, so the Lancers from Elliot N look like they aren't really doing too much besides just scouting around, getting some map control, making sure he knows what's going on. Unfortunately for him, he doesn't exactly know what's going on. There's a, there's a Teth Pulsar and a Zion Pulsar coming in right unheeded by that Lancer. So that Lancer will not see them, will not stop them. There's a mech in the base, but that won't do too much. There's a tornado coming as well. That'll do a bit more. But at this point, it looks like Eliadan is going to be attacking directly with his Lancer at base of King John VI. Well, King John VI, back in the time he's focusing on, has actually built another Teth Pulsar, and he doesn't have his units coming in quite yet. Okay, now they're coming in, so they're going to be going for a direct attack. While it looks like King John VI is just going for that attack very lightly. Elliot Ends coming in with a Lancer, just scouting attacks, so both players are still just poking at each other, making sure they're knowing what each other's doing. And Teth Searcher coming in, so Teth Pulsar and Teth Searcher will make short work of this Lancer. This Lancer is going to try to do some damage, what it can, try to attack the resource processors, tags one of them, maybe, actually it's hard to tell, it looks like it didn't do anything. Well, at the same time, the Teth Pulsar and Zion Pulsar are coming in, dealing a lot of damage. This, wow, this Importer is halfway dead, it has two reserves in it already, so it's going to, wow, that's going to be a fair bit of damage. The main importers, though, it looks like actually the reserves are pretty well split across the importers, so it's not that big of a deal. But this one importer has been destroyed, so that's two reserves down. Not a huge problem. There isn't enough production capacity from Elliot N to make that a big deal. He needs to get more factories, more maybe more armors, mainly more factories, and maybe a macro fab. But at this point, he doesn't really seem to be taking huge advantage of it. He has a couple turnouts coming in, dealing a lot of damage. The Zion Pulsar has been destroyed. The Teth Twitcher coming in, and it looks like the Marines are trying to do what they can. The Teth Twitcher is mostly an anti-air unit, not an anti-ground unit, so the Teth Twitchers can not fight Marines especially well, but it looks like Elliot is still going to have to push this off a bit better than he already currently is, and he does need more production capacity. King John VI does... Well, he's playing Vecchio, so his depot is fairly high production capacity to begin with. And it doesn't look like he's building too much. This is a bit further in the future than what he's looking at, though. Back where he's focusing, he has actually a Shin Twitcher coming in. So, wow, he's still building a lot. He's continuing this attack, pushing, continuing the pressure. And it looks like Zion Pulsar, this is Zion Pulsar that already died. While the Test Twitcher is trying to do what it can, it's not doing a lot to the Marines compared to the Marines are doing to it. And it's also a fair bit more expensive than the Marines are, but it looks like it will be able to fight through the Marines pretty quickly. Oh no, it's Special Ops. No, sorry, actually, yes. So the Test Twitcher is getting attacked very hard, and the mech's coming in, so the mech's going to finish it off completely. So this Teth, Teth Twitcher did not do much. Teth Fear will try to do some more attacking, but it looks like Teth Fear isn't going to do much as well. So at this point, wow, this is a pretty aggressive match on both sides, very quickly, and it looks like Teth Twitcher, wait, the Teth Twitcher survived? Looks like the Teth Twitcher was actually moved around a bit. It, oh yes, it escaped, it went away from the Marines, went around to attack the Tornad, and while the Zion Pulsar was being attacked by the Tornado, so the Tornado is not doing anything as the Teth Twitcher. The Teth Twitcher will make short work of that Tornado. While well, at the same time, a Shin Twitcher is coming in, and it, this looks like King John 6 is not seeming to be making any more units, but the Shin Twitcher is coming in. There's a Lancer still protecting, which isn't going to be doing too much. The Shin Twitcher will be able to just scoot right by it. And so at this point, these Tornados are taking a lot of damage. The Mech, or sorry, it's ATHC, never mind if it was a Mech, judging by the weapon. But no, an ATHC not doing too much. But it is cloaked. It will push away the Teth Turcher. The Shin Turcher is coming in, though. The Shin Turcher can spot cloaked units. And the Shin Turcher will also be making short work of the Special Ops right here. And the Marine will be going down fairly soon after. So the Shin Turcher is a bomber unit. Deals a lot of damage to ground units. As you can see, two more hits. The Marine's is going to be dead. One more hit. Marine's dead. So the Tornado's coming in. Managed to get rid of that Teth Turcher, but it doesn't look like it's going to be doing too much. The ATHC is cloaked, but like I said, the Shin Turcher is a detector, so it won't be lasting too long cloaked. Here we are. So the ATHC is dealing a lot of damage. Actually, I think it is dealing a lot of damage. Now it's dealing 10 damage a shot, while the Shin Turcher is dealing about 16 or so. So the Shin Turcher will win out, but the ATHC is still doing a fair amount of damage. So, yeah, here we have a tank as well. Another ATHC, so that should, should be able to deal a fair amount of damage once it starts attacking. So here's the tanks, tanks coming in. Shin Turcher is going to be taking a lot of damage, and luckily Shin Turcher will be destroyed very quickly. I'm just going to fast forward through this. So the Shin Turcher will be destroyed very quickly. Shin Veer will take a lot of damage as well, so it looks like that attack was foiled. However, it doesn't really matter. King John the Sixth is still fairly ahead in resources. 
He's actually using resources very well. Elliot N is fairly behind at this point in time. And a slipgate is coming from King John the Sixth, so he's probably gonna be able to he's gonna be able to send back units to reinforce that attack that we just saw going on. And it looks like looks like Elliot N is sending another cloaked HHC, but it doesn't really matter. Two Teth Turchers and a Shin Turcher coming in to try to follow up this attack. Gonna be taking a lot of damage from the HHC in the tank. The Teth Turcher will not last very long at all, but the Shin Turcher will be able to come in and Oh yeah, the Shin Turcher will be able to finish everything off. Actually, the Teth Turchers. Wow, they managed to hold their own fairly well, so the Tornado will be destroyed by the combination of units. Another factory coming up, but it's too little too late. Elliot N really needed that factory about three or four minutes ago. Unfortunately, three or four minutes ago is in the immutable past, not even the unplayable past. So there isn't much he can do in a slipgate here as well. So King John 6 will be able to very rapidly get some units into the past to help reinforce his own attack. And a turret coming in, trying to deal with some extra damage, but it doesn't look like the turret has actually got high enough. Is the turret even got high enough range? No, it does not. The turret cannot actually hit these units over here. So King John the Sixth has units very well positioned. They can't be hit, and it looks like at this point Elliot has taken a lot of damage. Elliot has gone further back in the past, tried to change it around the way he built up some units. Got another Lancer coming in, and and looks like a tank as well. However, against all these areas, some mechs would not be a bad idea. If he had a couple more factories at least, and he's building another Macrofab. So he's a Macrofab coming in, as well as the two factories. But really, he needs to get more units. Needs to get more units to attack directly. But it's a lot of, actually, not a lot of chrono energy. So he really should be getting those units into attack positioning. But it doesn't look like they're close enough to do that. The mech is trying to go around its own macrofab, but it won't be doing too much. And King John Six once again continuing to build up units. He has a lot. Of, okay, so two more Shin Churchers coming out of here, and it looks like oh no, Shin Churcher and Teth Churcher coming out. I don't even know if he has Halcyon class yet, but he's doing a lot with the Churcher class. And here are the mechs coming in. So the mechs finally coming in. To deal some extra damage. Tanks also coming in to try to deal some damage. It looks like Teth Turcher will be destroyed. The Teth Turcher is gone, but the Shin Turcher is the big threat. And the Hellions are coming in, so Lance is going to be able to help out a bit with the Shin Turcher, but it's. Wow, it's taking a fair amount of damage. Yeah, this Lancer will not last particularly long. It's part of the support group, but really the Shin Turcher is going to be able to take care of all these units fairly quickly. If. Wow, actually, you know what? No, this tank is doing a lot of damage, but no, even with that tank. Okay, an HHC is coming in, so this is the support that was needed. The Shin Turcher will go down, finally, but that's still a lot of... So, King John 6 is attacking relentlessly, and my guess is that very quickly he's going to be sending some units. Here we are, back in the unplayable past. So it looks like... I don't want to I don't want to spoil that for Pickley. I probably already did, actually, but it looks like King John 6 followed it as well. Sorry, spoiler for Elliot N. So it looks like King John 6 did, did that as well. So it appears that Elliot N will be getting a huge attack in the unplayable past. I don't know if he'll be able to really last this out. And I'm just going to double check. So it looks like here's the attack we saw before. And here are the units that just chronoported back to help out with this attack. Two Teth Turcher, or Shin Turcher and a Teth Turcher helping out with this attack. It looks like King John 6 is actually looking a bit further in the future when they attack. Or possibly sending back more units as well. So yeah, at this point, I'm just going to go back a bit further. And yes, here we are. We have the units that just chronoported back. And it looks like King John 6 chronoported back a couple more units when he had the chance. And at this point, the units are dealing a huge amount of damage. They destroyed most of the importers. They destroyed... At least two of the factories. Actually, no, at this point, I don't even think there were two factories. Yeah, it was just importers in one factory. So at this point, Elliot N does not have the forces to defend against this. And with all the units coming into the attack, I think Elliot N is going to be having to throw in the towel very quickly. It doesn't look like he has much of a chance to get out of this. King John 6 has sent two waves of chrono ported units back into the past. Massive uppercut. So I seriously don't think that Elliot N has much of a chance at all to get out of this attack. He has no chrono porting. He has no defenses back in this time. He really did not use the production capacity he had. As you can see, he had plenty of resources, 513 LC, 134 QP, but did not use it when he had the chance. And he does not have the defenses he needs back in this time to actually last against his attack. And it looks like King John 6, here's the second wave of units. Looks like he's actually sending a third wave of units further into the future, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. At this point, it looks like Elliot N is not going to be able to last through this. So Elliot N at this point has pretty much lost his entire base, unless he's able to do something back in the future. No, he has not. So Elliot N has surrendered, and that's the game. So thank you for watching. Have a good night.